Many fans think it's all sunshine and beaches for the Los Angeles Dodgers out west in the City of Angels. And hey, they're pretty much right. But the Dodger nickname actually harkens back to the late 19th century during a not-so-sunny time for a major East Coast city. We'll explain right now on this episode of Mascots and Monikers. Real quick, be sure to give this video a like by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to Mascots and Monikers for the latest videos as soon as they drop. Long before the sun-drenched, celebrity-packed games at Dodger Stadium, the team was actually founded in Brooklyn, New York in the year 1883. It was then that real estate investor Charles Byrne formed a baseball team simply known as the Brooklyn Grays, or sometimes referred to as Brooklyn's due to the fact that the team wore plain all gray uniforms. After bouncing around as a member of a few different professional leagues, the team finally joined the National League, where they still are to this day in 1890. This move to the National League in the years immediately following just also happened to coincide with a major transportation breakthrough in the city of Brooklyn, thanks to a fairly new discovery known as electricity. In the early 1890s, Brooklyn became just the second city in America to get an electric trolley line that transported citizens around the city much faster than the traditional horse and carriage could at the time. This was a great innovation, however it did not come without its risks for pedestrians. In those days, pedestrians would often walk out into the middle of the street whenever they wanted without thinking twice about looking both ways, as the old saying goes, before crossing streets because a horse would always stop in its tracks upon seeing the person walking by. An electric train car, on the other hand, would run you right over. With many Brooklyn residents not used to this potential hazard, there were a sizable number of deaths due to being hit by moving trolleys traveling at high speeds in the late 19th century Brooklyn. All right, you're probably wondering what this has to do with baseball. Well, the fact is that by around 1895, the city of Brooklyn had earned a nationwide reputation for the potential peril that loomed for pedestrians, and around the same year, there was one newspaper writer that referred to the baseball team as, quote, those trolley dodgers from Brooklyn, unquote, seeing as how the term trolley dodgers had been used by non-locals to describe Brooklyn pedestrians in their daily effort to not be hit by trains. Believe it or not, the new nickname stuck and the team began being more widely referred to as the Brooklyn Trolley Dodgers. What might be even more surprising is that by the turn of the century, the team embraced the name and referred to themselves as such for the next handful of years before they ultimately shortened their nickname to Dodgers in the early 1900s. This new name would become official in the year 1933 when Brooklyn put the Dodger name on their uniforms for the very first time. Five years after that, the classic Dodger cursive script that is still used today was added, and the team never looked back. In 1958, the team left Brooklyn for Los Angeles, but chose to keep the name, script, and blue-white colors that had grown to be classics. What's more is that the team has never actually added a mascot, and it remains one of just three major league teams without one, joining the Yankees and Angels. So if you ever get a chance to visit Chavez Ravine and take in a game at Dodger Stadium in the shadow of the Hollywood Hills, just remember that once upon a time, it was not always sunshine and beaches for the Dodgers and their local fans. Thanks for watching Mascots and Monikers.